Hey everyone, so as promised, here is part two, the other half of my spread to my last um, Project Life video using the Brimfield kit from Studio Calico. So let's jump right in. Um, I am starting with this 4x4 like photo collage on this card, 4x6 card, <clears throat> and I'm going to fool around with these acetate pieces. I kind of knew, I mean they're really cute, but I kind of knew I was going to have a hard time using them when I got the kit, um, but I think I'm doing alright with them so far. So I'm going to go through a couple different changes on this. I'm going to cut out this label that I had um, printed off Caitlin Schaefer's blog, and I ran it through Photoshop and put like my own little um, words on them and then printed them out. So this just says this day, I believe, and um, I just stuck a little orange piece of washi tape under there to add some color and I'm going to staple that down. And um, so I'm using iMovie and it's really hard to see when you do a voiceover because the box is little and I don't have the layout next to me or the spread next to me. So your guess is probably better than mine on what these most of these things say. Um, but anyways, I went and grabbed some letter stickers from my stash. Um, this is like from summer vibes the simple stories collection the big 12 by 12 sheet and what i do with those sticker sheets is i just cut them down so they can fit in the box that i keep my little stickers in and then these are from an old uh bow bunny collection i think it was the avenues and they're just blue letter stickers and they have like a little text pattern in them so i'm going to use some of those for the and then i'm just going to use these to spell out fam and I didn't want to use the pink letter stickers that came in the kit because I kind of felt like they wouldn't, you know, stand out <laughs> as much as these ones. So, yeah, I just used my ruler to line those up. That makes life so much easier. I don't know why I don't always do that. I, maybe sometimes I'm just lazy. I can be pretty lazy <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here I go messing with these acetate pieces again, and I think I end up using one, a star. I think this star, and I just staple it. I don't, yeah, I think so, yeah. There we go. Staple. And I think that card is done. I should also mention that I, um, added my own photo corners again on that photo. So I love this background card. This is one of the printable ones. Um, and I'm just going to mount my photo again of some food. I told you this is like a food heavy spread. Um, I just mounted that on some vellum um, as like a mat. And then I'm just going to set that like dead in the middle of the card. And I'm going to stamp this Kelly Perky stamp on it that says the best this was the best ever or something something similar to that like I said you can probably read it better than I can um but I'm gonna use some white stays on to stamp that on there and this card like the layout of the like the elements I put on it is kind of weird but the 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 subjects <laughs> I'm getting technical on you the subjects in the picture are in odd places as well <laughs> So I'm going to use the um, roller stamp that came in the kit, and there's um, a saying on there that says "hangry," because we were hangry. I don't know what that really means. I've actually never heard that before. <laughs> I got this stamp, but anyways, I thought it was cool, so I tried to stamp it, but I I think I'm rocking them too much, like I do with like normal dates. I mean, not that this is abnormal, but Hi, I rocked guys. it. I rocked it too much and so it was blurry so I just stamped it on a label and um, stapled it on because I was too lazy to go get my nail polish remover um, so I just did that and then I grabbed a wood veneer arrow um, not this one though I mean I did grab it obviously it's there but I'm gonna grab a different one this one I love these little short fat ones those are my favorite ones I'm almost out of them I'm contemplating getting another pack of those wood veneer just to get more of those little short fat ones but they don't have like a million of the other ones and a million hearts because it comes with hearts too so some more orange washi tape just to add a little more color into that card and that one is done and moving on to another food card i'm just going to round the corners um that is a three eighths inch uh you know Thing that I'm using <laughs> and here I go with this roller stamping again I'm like oh, I'll get it right this time this one says 
I'm not even sure what that says. I'm sure you know. Um, but anyways... I stamped it and it was blurry and then I had to go get my nail polish remover because I didn't want to put a label on that one. So I um, uh, I wiped it off. So if you didn't know, nail polish remover will take stays on off of photos. I use selfie paper, which for one is super slick and it's hard to stamp on anyways, even with stays on. Um, but I don't know how like a matte photo would react to nail polish remover with stays on. So you might want to test out whatever kind of photo paper you use. But you can see here, I'm not having a problem wiping it off of the selfie paper. And that's pretty much what I use exclusively. So I'm not sure how other photo papers would react. I'm sure most glossy papers would be fine. I mean, don't quote me because I don't want to <laughs> wreck your stuff if it doesn't work on your glossy paper. But I would be more concerned about like a matte paper. So I just added a chipboard piece there from the kit, glued it on. Sometimes the backing comes off of them when I take them off. Um, and then this is a picture of me and my nephew. And um, this card is also a printable, I believe. Yes. This one and that one next to it with the little animal. I'm not even sure what kind of animal that is. A bear, maybe? So I'm going to use one of these acetate, um, oh, what are those called? Oh, you know what it is, a clip, it's a clip. <laughs> and I wanted to half slide under the picture, so I'm fiddling with it to cut it just the right enough amount so that it sits how I want it to. And once I get it, I'm just going to washi tape it in place. And, oh, I'm sorry, sound all crazy. My daughter's climbing all over me. Sorry, I got interrupted. So anyways, I forgot where I was, but oh, um, yeah, so I taped that down and I circled um, the Monday little icon at the top because this was taken on a Monday and a little bit of that navy blue washi tape at the bottom and that one's done. I'm going to skip that card for now because I don't know what to do with it. Uh, and yet another food related card. I mean, it's a miracle that I don't weigh like 950 pounds from these pictures. <laughs> So, yeah, this was another meal, and I'm going to use another stamp from that Kelly Perky set, and this says, good stuff right here, which it was. So my fiancé had went to Alaska recently and did some fishing, and he caught, like, a record-breaking trout for the, lou the, louge, <laughs> the lodge that they stayed at. He, like, broke the record for a rainbow trout, and that trout is so good. We put it on our grill. Oh, so delicious. So I just added a um, green enamel star also to that stamp. And then this is the bottom corner. So I'm kind of mimicking this card with the one that says the fam because this was taken at the same um, event. It was like a family get together that we had. And so um, I'm just placing a chipboard piece in the middle. And I know that one says dinner party. And I put the photo corners on there. And I'm going to use one of these vellum strips. And I believe it says something like, uh, we don't age by years, but by stories or something like that, which is kind of appropriate. I mean, we kind of do this family get together once a year. And so some of the people in these pictures, I only see at that time of the year. So it's kind of nice. And then another one of these acrylic shapes. And I was going to staple it, but I decided um, I was going to pull out my Xyron and just put adhesive along the whole back. So you can't really, you can't see it at all. Um, but then I didn't have to staple it, which apparently I'm not opposed to, but I just, I don't know why I didn't want to staple on this, this card. And then I'm going to add, I start off adding two yellow enamel stars, but then I'm going to take that one off. I just put down and just leave the one down here by the bird. So that card is done, and this card I left, and I went and printed my journaling on the card, um, and again, I just do that in pages. I create a text box to the size I want, and I print it out, and then I just checked the was awesome, I think it says, box at the bottom, and um, I don't know what I pulled these alphas out for, but I decided to grab this Amy Tan roller date stamp so that I could put the date of the get together on there which was September 6th and then there's just some little chevrons before the date and bam a little bit of orange washi on the bottom of that baby and that one is done 
I don't know. I found that those washies add just a little bit of color where I need them, so that's cool. Oh, it's not done. Whew. That was pretty dramatic for something that was a lie. <laughs> I put a little enamel star on there. So, yeah. I'm going to look through these chipboard pieces one more time. I think um, I'm only going to add one to that It's Official card just to add some color. Um, I'm thinking about this, but I don't end up doing it. Because that card, the... the the layout of it is just kind of weird to me, but I end up leaving it alone and I'm going to put this orange piece, which is diagonal lines on this one in one little staple. And I just put a little washi when the staple goes through something thick like that. So it doesn't scrape the other side of the protector card. And that's it. So I'm going to do the close-ups in real time. Um, so you can kind of see everything. And if you want to stay tuned to after the close-ups, I have a little clip of an event that happened when I was in the shower. <laughs> My youngest daughter, Olivia, apparently went into the craft room, turned on the camera, and was trying to make a process video um, out of the things on my desk. It's pretty cute, though. Um, you know, my craft room is to a degree for my kids, you know, a open playground. I don't mind too much that they're in there and stuff. And it's just funny that she watches me enough to know how to turn the camera on and stuff is it's just funny I wish the sound was on I mute the sound on my camera automatically when I record so that you don't hear all the how the noise in my house um but yeah I wish I could hear what she was saying so anyways this is the full spread all together how it will look in my album and um yeah if you want to stay tuned for Olivia's little clip you can do that uh, and otherwise I will see you next time thanks guys bye